In this video, we are going to continue with the basic concepts of functions. You will find this on page 101 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Domain and range, making use of graphs. Okay, so we will first focus on domain and range just by looking at the graph. The set of input values, that's the x values, for a function is called the domain of the function. The set of output values, okay, is called the range. I can see a printing mistake here. That must be a y. For a function is called the range of the function. Okay. Another way to identify the domain and range of a functions is by using graphs. Because the domain refers to the set of possible input values, the domain of a graph consists of all the input values shown on the x-axis. The range is the set of possible output values which are shown on the y-axis. On the diagram, we can observe that the graph extends horizontal from negative 2 to 4. Okay, so just focus on the x. Negative 2 to 4, okay? And because that dot is colored in, it's included, okay? The vertical, now you look there and you look at the y, 9 to negative 3. It stands from negative 3 to 9, so it's going to, and again, because of the dots that's not open but colored in, that's why it's going to be y, because it's the range, and it's negative 3 to 9. Okay, let's start. Let's look at an example. This is not really that difficult. I'm going to see if I can make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's start. Write down the domain and the range for each of the following graphs. Now, basically, you must just look. Okay, first look on the x. It's from there to there. Do you see that? So, it's x is bigger than negative 4 and equal and smaller and equal to 4. Can you see that? Okay, x is an element of real numbers. If you look at y, it's from there to there. So, it's bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 4. X is an y is an element remember it's now y element of real numbers okay now be careful for this one do you see that one is open that one is closed okay. let's start with your x so just be careful so it's from negative 2 it's up to 2 but it's not including 2 and do you see so there's an equal sign with the negative 2 but not an equal sign with the 2 and if you then look at the y it's from negative 1 included up to 3, but 3 is not included. And again, it's an element of real numbers. And then the last one, again, look at your x. Okay, this is negative 2 there, do you see? And it's going up to 3. So it's negative 2 to 3, and it's included, so that's why it's equal. And if you look at your y, okay, let's look at the highest point, it's 8. The lowest point is negative 4. So it's negative 4 uh, included. So y is bigger than equal to negative 4 and smaller than equal to 8. So for domain, always x. And for the range, always y values. Okay. I want you to stop the video. Get a bit bigger. I'm going to move it down. See, nice. And I want you to do a, b, and c. It's just to get used to the words domain and range. So A, B, and C. Okay, let's start with number A. Now, I always look at first my X. It's from negative 2 up to 2. So I can say, let's just go. I'm going to keep to my colors again. So the domain equals... Okay. Usually they are doing it like this. They say x is an element of the real numbers. And then they make a double point. Then they say, okay, I think I must rather put it up. Okay, let's see if I, if I make it a bit smaller. Because I want to put it in one row. Okay, I have it. 
So there's my double point. And then I say x, it's bigger than equal to negative 2 and smaller than equal to 2. And then I'm going to look at my range. Y is now an element of R. And now I'm going to say Y. And now look, it's also negative 2 to 2. So it's bigger than equal to negative 2 and smaller than equal to 2. Exactly the same. Okay, that's number A. Let's look at number B. Now, take note, that one is open and that one is also open. Okay, so there's no equal signs. So let's start first with my X. The smallest one, so you, okay, I'm going to just start the side domain. And it's X is an element of R. Okay, and then it's X. And now, look at your smallest one first. Your smallest one is, is on this side, so it's negative 1. And what is your biggest one? Your biggest one is 2. But there's no equal signs because of the open circles. And let's look at my range. Y is an element of R. And then Y. Okay, now here's my Y. Here's my Y. Okay, so look at the smallest one is negative 1. It's now it's open, so it's negative 1. Biggest one is 3. And then the last one. Number C. Start with the domain. So basically what you, you look for your further, uh, where it starts on the left hand and where it ends on the right hand. So, okay, it starts, so you just look at X values. So that, that one is in the middle, so you ignore that one. So it's negative 2 and it's up to 4 and it's, you see it's colored in. So then you can just say X. It's an element of R. So X is bigger and equal to negative 2 and smaller and equal to, to 4. Because there it was, there it's negative 2, there it's 4. Okay. And then I look at my range. And now I say y is an element of R. And now I say y. Okay, now I must look at my lowest and my highest point. So this looks my lowest, negative 2. Do you see? And this is my highest 2. So uh, y. And it's, it's bigger than equal to negative 2. Smaller than equal to 2. And that, that is how I do it. Very nice. Make sure you can first do it on a graph. So for the domain, it's the x values. You look for the uh, where it starts on the left and where it ends on the right. And for the um, range, it's the y values. You look where, where it's the, 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 the bottom. What is the bottom one for the smallest one? And uh, what is the, for the highest one? What is the top one? 